Hi, I'm Michelle Erfer from the musictherapytween.com and I'm going to give you a shortcut that you're going to want to use the next time you pull out your whiteboard and your dry erase markers uh, for a lyric substitution or songwriting activity. Okay, so the shortcut is that you need two different whiteboard markers to help you out. The first is a dry erase marker. A dry erase marker just means that the marker gets erased when you use a dry material, like a dry cloth or those these kind of erasers that we're used to seeing around. The second whiteboard marker that you need is a wet wet erase marker. You get this the same place you buy the white the dry erase markers. But with a wet erase marker, it just means that the marker gets erased using a wet material. So just a damp paper towel works for this. You don't need a special cleaner. You can just use water, but it gets the dry erase, I'm sorry, the wet erase marker gets erased with a wet material. So let's put the it all in action. So let's say I'm doing a lyric substitution and I've chosen the song, that kid's song, Down by the Bay. Down by the bay, what are all in, will the watermelons grow? Back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say, have you ever seen a goose kissing a moose down by the bay? Uh, so what I did beforehand is I got the wet erase marker, the wet <laughs> erase marker, and I wrote down my um, words and the blanks. So then when we're in the session, we're doing doing the work here, and let's say I gave the clients an opportunity to fill in the blank however they want, and little Francesca says that she wants to say, have you ever seen a dog kissing a frog? So I grab my dry erase marker, and I write in what she said. So have you ever seen a dog kissing a frog? So creative. All right, we sing the song. All right. Have you ever seen a dog kissing a frog down by the bay? Great. Everything go, goes well. All right, now it's Carlos's turn. So I grab my dry material, my dry eraser. Okay, Carlos, what do you want to do? I just erase, and since I used my dry erase marker, only the dry gets erased. The wet stays there. And I can continue, write something else that he wants to do. Great. We can erase it, and that all stays on there. We can do another one, and it all stays on there because we're using a dry erase marker and a dry material. And then at the end of the day, when we're all done, I grab my wet paper towel, or damp paper towel, and erase it all. Don't be scared, it's blue and streaky, but that's just kind of what happens. You flip it over. Like that. And then I always like to take like a tissue or a, a dry cloth and kind of buff it and dry it off. And that will take away your streaks too. Ta-da! This is something that I wish I had known about back in the days when I used to do um, a lot of this type of work, a lot of activities every 30 minutes for eight hours straight. <laughs> so that is your shortcut tip. Uh, for the next time you use your whiteboard and markers on the job, get your wet erase and your dry erase markers. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any more tips on this type of thing, please let me know. And please visit the blog, Music Therapy Tween. Thanks.